Thank you, uh, Chair Up the Grove. First name on the list is Alex Zimmerman. Zee Heil, my dirty damn Nazi fascist junta, bandita and psychopath. My name is Alex Zimmerman, president of Stand Up America. Very good. So, Consul Balducci, Consul freaking Bauer, you might remember the, so in the day, you know what it means, few hundred thousand Americans die fighting with fascism and with Nazi. It's very important. Yeah, exactly. We're all fighting against fascism and Nazi for freedom. Because America, by definition, is only one free country on this planet. Yeah, by constitution. So for me, this is very interesting. Why for more than three years, the still consul don't have one public hearing? More than three years. And I'm talking about this. Alex, is, that's not a topic on today's agenda. No, it's a topic of freedom of speech today. Don't forget. Your memory is not so good. So don't forget Okay, so I have right to speak about everything what as I can. One time per month, you give us freedom of speech for two minutes. You're very good people. I only don't understand how this nine Nazi pig who sit in this chamber for three plus years don't give chance consul. Alex, that isn't the topic. It's D-Day recognition. No, what is you talking about? I'm talking about something that is we'll critical. It's a freedom. People dying for in America. 100,000 dying. Why you cancel? Why? Why are you talking about Council is at ease. Why? Why are you acting like a Nazi pig, huh? Three plus, more than three years, they don't have one public hearing. It's not Nazi anymore. No, it's so, so what? I don't talk to people because they still have half million people accept this. I talk to you. Why are you not doing this? Nine council acting like a pig, like a Nazi. Three plus years, they don't have a public hearing. Open public for people. Three half years. Thank you. Well, <laughs> next on the list is Council. Joe. One moment. Uh, the council will be back in order. Um, as we return to order, I'll make my usual comment that, the, well, the First Amendment gives the previous speaker the right to make those gestures and say some of those things. Um, this council finds him offensive and ridiculous. Now we'll proceed with public testimony. Thank you. Thank you. Next on the list is Joe Kunzler. Mr. Chairman, before I speak, I, I, have, I want to respond to a D-Day proclamation, and I also want to make some general public comment. Is that okay? Absolutely. Fine, I check. Um, you know, I really appreciate the DA proclamation. I consider June 6, 1944, a very serious and historic date. Um, you know, I have a Jewish relative, and I know that the Nazis didn't just go after Jews. They went after disabled people like me, journalists like me. They went after um, quite a few people, uh, groups of people. And... Uh, I, I really think it's important to remember their bravery and remember as democracy is at fret at home and abroad again, that we have to preserve democracy or lose it forever. I'm disappointed that the council member decided to hide in the little office instead of listen to the public comment. Um, I find it very disappointing, you know who you are. Uh, but moving on to general public comment, I understand council member- and I, that, that last comment was out of order, Joe, and that's not commenting something on the agenda. So go ahead. And we, we, by general public comment, I mean comment on motions, hearings, motions, and ordinances on today's agenda. Oh, oh crap, because Councilmember Reagan Dunn put up some, said some things about evictions that I think should be discussed at some point. I apologize. Uh, that's Joe. the second warning, Joe. We're going to pause your microphone and proceed. A reminder to speakers, they need to speak to items on the agenda today. Uh, right. the, we would welcome you back, Joe, on the fourth Tuesday. It is the fourth oh, it Tuesday. It is today. I apologize. My, <laughs> we'll put <laughs> our attorney. <laughs> I am, Tell him I'm eager to hear his Yes, we will put, oh, let's Joe, restart we will put a minute clock. back on your clock. We'll put a, a minute back on your clock. <laughs> Well, this 
say good you tell him, moment. Joe. <laughs> oh, I will, Councilmember Dunn. One. I really think we need to have a public hearing <laughs> about those eviction bills. I heard about them on Brandy Cruz's show today. In fact, I encourage people to call in and voice their opinions and uh, in a civil, respectful way. And um, I think that every council member should participate in that debate because there is a limited amount of public funds, and I definitely would like to move to King County and live along the light rail and have light rail to go to all the great SeaTac new routes that are being launched this summer instead of having to take the bloody airporter. Um, so hopefully Councilmember Dunn's eviction bills can get a hearing soon. I want to again thank the council for the D-Day hearing. It was much appreciated. And finally, on a matter of personal privilege, I want to thank Councilmember Perry for trying to ban greetings that's content neutral and therefore can stop the abuses by a certain troubled individual and I will rest my case. Thank you for your public service. Thank you and I apologize for the interruption.